baby bus. The Little Match Girl. At night on New Year's Eve, it snowed heavily, and the city was filled with a happy atmosphere. A little girl shuttled back and forth in the crowd. Matches for sale. Come buy my matches. This little girl was selling matches. She wore slippers that were too big for her, and her dress was torn and full of holes. Her basket was full of matches. A carriage galloped past, knocking the little match girl to the ground, sending one of her slippers flying off. The person in the carriage stuck his head out the window and shouted fiercely, "Are you blind, scaring my horse like that?" Sorry, sorry. The little match girl quickly got up and dodged to the side. She continued calling out, "Matches, come buy my matches!" But her voice was too soft. Nobody noticed this pitiful little girl. A mischievous little boy snatched her other slipper away. Now the little match girl walked barefoot on the cold, snow-covered ground. She kept blowing into her hands, trying to warm herself. But the chilly wind kept blowing into her neck. Hmm, smells so good. The little match girl was drawn to the aroma flowing out a window. She leaned on the window sill to look. Whoa! There's a crispy baked ham on the table. Oh, I nearly forgot. Today is New Year's Eve. Every house is lit up with warm lights and busy preparing delicious food. But I can only walk barefoot on the streets. The little match girl sat down on the ground and curled into a ball. She tucked her numb red feet under her body, but this did not warm her up much. I didn't sell one match today. I haven't earned a cent. I can't go home, and even if I do, the house is also very cold. A gust of wind blew towards her, bringing more snow. The little girl's hands were almost numb. She stared at her basket of matches and thought, "I'll strike just one match, really, just one match to warm my hands." Shivering, she trembled as she drew out one match. Sizzling, it came to life, giving off a bright, warm glow. The little match girl cupped her hands over the flame. I feel like I'm sitting in front of a big stove that's burning, warm. And full of life, it feels so good. Just as she wanted to stretch out her legs to warm them, the match burned out, leaving behind a bald matchstick and a frigid wall. The little match girl struck another match. An unbelievable scene lit up on the wall. The little match girl cried out in surprise. Ah,、oh, the table is covered with all kinds of delicious food: hot cornbread. Black-eyed peas and a crispy baked ham. What was more shocking was that the baked ham stood up, jumped up from the table, and wobbled over to the little match girl. The little match girl said excitedly, "Ham, let me take a bite." Just when the little match girl wanted to stretch out her hand to take a hold of the ham, the match went out. It would be so nice if all this was real. The little match girl struck another match. She found herself standing under a tree loaded with presents. The star on the tree expanded, becoming a patch of starlight. Standing in the starlight was the little girl's grandmother. <gasps> Is that you, <gasps> Grandma? <gasps> Grandma! The little match girl fell into her grandmother's arms. Her grandmother gently caressed her hair. It's me, my good child. Grandma, please take me away with you. I know you'll disappear as soon as the match goes out, like the warm stove and the delicious ham. You'll vanish without a trace. The little match girl quickly lit all the matches. As they burned, the flame was brighter than any lamp. Her grandmother embraced her, and together, they flew upward. Flying higher and higher into the bright happiness, flying to a place far away from Earth, there was only happiness in that place. 
and the little match girl and her grandmother lived there together, happy forever.